Hey, I'm Brandon, and this is the Texas Plinking 1 MOA at 1,000 Yards Challenge, a monthly series where I let five viewers of the channel come on out and see what they could do. Now, for episode six, we're gonna do things quite a bit different. This time, we're gonna do a point system. The way it works is each shooter's gonna have up to 10 shots. Right away, they're gonna start off with a 10 inch target. Now, that target's worth 10 points if they hit it on the first round, and it goes down one point for every shot following. Now, whether the shooter hit it on the second or the ninth round, they could spend their remaining rounds all on the five inch target, which is worth double the points. For example, the second overall shot in the first attempt at the five inch can be worth up to 20 points, with it being worth two points less per shot. Once they hit the five inch target, the challenge is done. And for every round they didn't use of the 10 total is an additional point. That being said, 38 points is the maximum. The way you do that, hit the 10 inch on the first shot. Second shot is the immediate hit on the five inch. And then you got eight shots you didn't use. That's 38 points. If that doesn't make sense, I say we just get shooting and you'll figure it out. In any case, we're still giving away the challenge coins. A gold coin for a first cold bore shot, a silver coin for impacts between shots two and five, and a bronze coin if you get an impact on the 10 inch target between shots six and 10. Now, like I said, episode six is the first time we're trying this. So be sure to leave a comment down below and let us know if you like the old style or if we should continue with the point system. All right, guys, we're getting ready to get into episode six of the long range challenge. Now, real quick, now that there's a point system, that enrolls a way we could have a leaderboard and a little bit of incentive. So the winner for today, first time ever, is gonna win a prize. This is a Rise Armament, Rise Trigger, their Iconic series. So pretty cool, whoever gets the most points walking home with an Iconic Trigger. So that being said, I wanna give a big thanks to Rise Armament for supplying the trigger and sponsoring this video. Rise Armament is based out of Broken Arrow, Oklahoma, where their triggers are designed and made. The Iconic Independent Two-Stage Trigger has two distinct stages with no mushiness and a predictable crisp break. Each trigger comes with the Iconic Best of Both Worlds performance guarantee, so if your trigger doesn't perform as promised, Rise will buy it back with no questions asked. Plus, every Rise Trigger is backed by their lifetime warranty. So again, a big thanks to Rise Armament for supplying the trigger for the winner of today's video. I'm sure they'll be really happy and I'm curious to see who's going to win it and with what rifle. Also want to give a big thanks to Silencer Shop. Not only does Silencer Shop have a vast array of suppressors to choose from, but they make the legal process of obtaining such items much more simplified. Just get a trust through them. They'll help you out with the whole process. Go on the website, check out where they have a Silencer Shop kiosk near you. Get the process started. Owning suppressors is not as difficult as you may think it is. Also want to give a shout out to Arkin Optics. I believe there's some showcases here for them later as well just a little teaser there mark and optics really really cool economic rifle scopes that punch way above their weight in regards to the pricing and they just came out with their first one to eight lpvo use coupon code texas blinking at checkout and that guarantees you get the best discount currently available through arc optics so link in the description to them as well and lastly i want to mention the texas blinking newsletter all the things i can't share on youtube facebook instagram whether that's gun deals deals on ammo whatever the case is can't share it there but i can through my newsletter and i'll give you guys sweet updates sometimes we do some giveaways there as well so link in the description texasplinking.com slash newsletter sign up without any further ado let's go ahead and get into it all right first up who do we have i'm taylor schweitzer taylor thanks so much for coming out brave no one wanted to step up to the plate first time ever it was uh, we had to beg someone to be first but here we go all right so off camera also explain the point system as i did in the intro how are you feeling about that change up i think a head-to-head -head element makes it a lot more interesting cool. competitive yep. i mean you could have a championship round at the exactly end. that's like, the plan yeah for i think sure. it's great i love it awesome well what uh, what setup do you have here uh i have a uh carriage chassis on this guy it's a it's a six creed i actually built it for uh the tactical game sniper challenge oh very cool okay so that's why it's not as heavy as a lot of long range sure. guns are it's a little bit shorter so that kind of explains the whole concept on this gun yep. okay. um, why it's a little bit lighter it's why we chose this zero compromise optic the eye box is really big um, okay and I think the glass is still just as clear as like tangent theta, night sure. force, all that good stuff. And what's the zoom range on it? Uh, four to 20. Okay, perfect. That's yeah, awesome and I actually, this is the first time I've used a zero compromise optic and I I might like it better than everything really? else. Really? Like, that's one brand I haven't even dove into. So that's that's cool to hear. Yeah, yeah. Um, you can totally shoot at the end of the awesome. day and see what you think. Perfect. Um, a so Falcor yeah, action? Falcor action, trigger tech, okay. diamond trigger. Yep. What barrel length? 20 inches. 20 inch, very, yeah. very cool. Okay. And the whole gun was built by uh, Travis Customs. He's built a bunch of hunting rifles for us. Okay. And then uh, we kind of told him what we were thinking with this. And so he was a big, you know, kind of guided for all sure. the decision making. Six so, Creed, what, uh, what ammo are you shooting? Uh, 105 burgers. Okay, perfect. Some hand loads? Hi no, no, no. Oh, okay. Uh, no. Who loads it? A oh, oh, burger themselves? Yeah. Or? Okay, yeah, yeah, perfect. Yeah. Awesome. No, cool. we're not in the, the hand load game is such a I'm, commitment for your it lifestyle. Is. People are so surprised I haven't dove into it. I don't know, part of it is kind of, my lazy excuse is the relatability, like I'm just gonna shoot what ammo you can just buy right now. Yeah. So I like that piece of it and you know, uh, I've had okay luck. So I'll keep running that way, that's my excuse. I, I'm sure that I'm missing some fraction of, of accuracy, but uh, I don't know, I got 
job. I don't know if I if I time. earned that fraction anyway myself, but yeah, exactly. Yeah. That's how I feel too. Well, awesome. Okay, usually I ask people with their confidence level and the old style what shot they think, but now in this realm, I still I guess I'll still ask. What kind of? Does anybody actually roll up and say they don't feel good about it? Um. <laughs> That's a good point. That's a good point. No, I mean, I feel uh, we shot on Thursday, and this gun is is super accurate. Um, we were making hits at 1070 just to true yeah. up the data on it. So I feel pretty good about I it. I don't know if the mic's going to showcase this, though. Kind of some headwind. Yeah. yeah no, I mean, that's, we'll that's the variable, right? Yeah. Um, but we'll see. Yeah, perfect. Hope for the best. Awesome. Well, I'm looking forward to seeing it done. Cool. All right, when you're ready, I think you know how it goes. There's three targets that are the 10 inch targets. Is there one in particular you want to go for? The left one. All the way to the left? Yes, sir. Perfect. We are ready. All right. One shot left. Go for the five. You can get it, girl. All right. What? Nice. Uh, which of the five inches? Uh, five inch targets you go for? Uh, I'll go for the one on the left. White one. Yep. Perfect. All right, up next, who do we have? Devin Bird. Devin, thanks for coming out, man. Yes, sir. Awesome, walk us through your rig here. What do you have? It started out as a Remington 700 Varmint ADL, and I threw it in a Graybow Renegade stock, uh, Graybow bottom metal, shooting awesome. accurate mags, uh, Arkin SH4, 6 to 24 by Good 50. Good stuff. And a Caldwell bipod. Very cool, man. It is all the thrills you need, it looks like. Man, you're not running any thread to barrel, no nothing, no thrills. No, it's just ready to rock and roll, huh? Ready to go. What's it chambered in? 308. 308, awesome. And uh, what are you doing for ammo? Uh, Hornady 168 grain ELDMs. Very cool, you got some good luck with that so far? Yes sir, pretty good. Cool. All right, that change up, totally curveball, no one was expecting it. We're gonna do, uh, <laughs> gonna do a points based system now. We got some high winds as as usual. <laughs> What's the confidence level looking like though, man? You still got oh, the 10 shots, 10 inch target starting off? The, if I hit the berm, I'll be happy. Hit the berm. <laughs> you know what? I think you'll be happy today, I sure hope so. <laughs> uh, very, very cool, man. Well, I'm looking forward to seeing it get done, man. All right, sir, when you're ready, uh, which of the targets do you want to go for? The white one on the right. 
All the way to the right, perfect. We're ready when you are. That was on the tent. That was so on the tent. Awesome. Alright, up next, who do we have? My name is Derek. Derek, thanks for coming out, man. Cool. Walks through your rig. What do you got here? Uh, this is a Savage 110 and 6 millimeter arc. 6 arc. Super cool. Alright. Yeah. Uh, Vortex PST Gen 2 and some Seekins rings and an Atlas uh, PSR bipod. Very good. Very good. What's the barrel length on this? It's 22. Cool. Okay. Six arc, man. I've only had brief experience with it out of a AR-15 platform. Mm -hmm. It was like a CMMG Endeavor or something like that. And it was cool. I think I've stretched it out to like 1200 and that was like as far as I could bring that little cartridge. I was impressed with it. Uh, how have you liked the cartridge so far? I love it. Yeah. Uh, it's super light recoil. Well, it's cool to have uh, a bolt gun. That's a cool proposition. Yeah. Uh, I, I, I've had several ARs and I, I got kind of tired of, uh, you know, setting up the gas systems and, oh, and sure. you yeah. know, based on my loads and so bolt action, you just load it and shoot it. What ammo are you shooting? Oh, they're hand loads. Hand loads, okay. Uh, shooting the 108 ELDMs. Very cool. Do you know uh, roughly what velocity you're getting out of that? It's a slow load. I yeah. came across it when I was doing the barrel break-in. Okay. Uh, and it's uh, about 2,500 feet per second. All right, you shooting mills? What do you expect to be at for the 1,000? Uh, about 11.6 mills. Really? That's with, a... With, with the headwind we got. Very cool. All right. Yeah, so we'll see. So it'll it'll arc in there. See what yeah. I did? But it's, <laughs> We'll insert the laugh track. Um, awesome, man. What's the confidence level looking like? I'll be thrilled if I can hit it in five, uh, but still pretty happy if I can hit it in 10. Awesome. Yeah, looking forward to it, man. Well, wow, it's a good done. All righty, sir. Ready when you are. Those three targets, which one you go? Uh, you want to go for? Uh, the one on the right. One on the right? All righty.
little uh, what, one. So you got seven shots to... He has seven for the little one. Alrighty. Which one do you want to go for of those uh, five inch targets? Uh, I'll go the, I'll go the one? white. White one to the left? Perfect. Ready when you are. All right, up next, who do we have? Bobby. Bobby, thanks for coming out, man. Cool, walk us through your rig, man. What do you have here? Uh, this is the Outlier chassis. We're pretty new on the market. This is the Outlier barrel. It's 308, 18 cool. twist, uh, Arkin EP5 uh, optics, oh, and yeah. uh, pre-fit barrel is dropped into a Tika Action. Tika Action, awesome, very cool. That is, a, you said 308? It's a 308. Hugely thick profile barrel, but with some of the deepest cuts I've seen, that's, Pretty it's cool. an eight pound barrel, then, then the flutes remove almost two pounds of it. Two pounds, damn. AICS magazines by MDT. Very cool, very cool. What, uh, what bipod is this? Oh, this is Harris. Harris? Harris okay, bipod, cool. yeah. With, uh, cool little spike feet there as well. Yeah, yeah. Very, very cool, man. Um, 308, what, uh, what ammo are you shooting? M118. Really? Yeah. M118, good stuff. The, like, yeah. Legit M118? Yeah, legit one, M118. Good stuff. So 175 Sierra Match King, if I'm not mistaken. 175 Sierra Match Kings and uh, out of 24 inch barrel. When I twist, I'm doing 25, 25 ish. Very cool. So in this wind, it's going to be very challenging. <laughs> What'd you say the barrel length was again? 24 inch. 24 inch. Okay, wow. Yeah, that'll that'll get there. I asked the last guy this as well. I'm curious here. Do you know uh, what do you expect to be at for drop at a thousand? Uh, Eleven mils. Another 11. spot on, right on the dot. So See I've it. shot I've shot a couple uh, tactical matches with this kind of setup. So did decent, but. We'll see how it's going to be here. What's the confidence level looking like? You got the 10 shots, the range targets all the same. So what do you think it's going to look like? Um, well, the rifle can do it. It's all up to me right I now. I hear that. <laughs> I hear that. Awesome. Well, looking forward to uh, seeing it get done, man. Let's get to it. All righty, sir. Which target do you want to go for? The uh, white target left of the silhouette. Okay. So of the three circles, the one on the right? Yes. Perfect. Ready when you are.
talk to my friend. And that's uh, which? How many more shots on the five inches you have? Uh, that was shot number six. So you got so. four shots on the half MOA. Yes. Okay. And uh, which of those half MOA targets you want to go for? The little or the little white one. The white one on the left. Gotcha. Ready when you are. All right, up next, who do we have? Tom Westbrook. Tom, thanks so much for coming out, man. Looks yes, like uh, quite a ready to go rig. Can you walk us through what you got? Uh, it's just a Remington 700, 300 wind mag. Uh, has a McGowan barrel on it. Okay. Uh, a Burris F-Class scope. It's an accuracy rifle systems chassis. Okay, uh, very cool. Sinclair bipod and a Spec War 762 suppressor. Awesome. I mean, it looks like this thing's just hunger down and just meant to do a challenge At like this. 32 pounds, it's, it it's meant to, Yeah, <laughs> awesome. Is that weight just really in this chassis? Like this, yes, the bulk of yeah, the gear? Yeah, the, these tanks are full of lead shot. Very cool. So this 300 wind mag, was it feel like? Shooting like a little Oh, it's, little there's baby cartridge. hardly no recoil at all. Beautiful. That's awesome. Easy to trace in all that good stuff? Usually. Cool. All right, so 300 wind mag, what, uh, what ammo are you shooting? It's a hand load, 215 grain burger over okay. uh, 73.3 grains of Hodgins 1000. Okay, awesome. Did you mention the barrel length? I might have missed that. Uh, I want to say this barrel's 28 inches. 28, oh, so it's screaming hot, yeah. Then, huh? Yeah. Perfect. Yeah, I'm running this load, I'm running about 2,900 feet a second. I that usually is. run 3,150. Wow, okay, yeah, so it'll, it'll get there quickest uh, from anything today. Beautiful. Well, I'm looking forward to getting it done. What's the confidence level looking like? Uh, I haven't shot over 500 yards in a long time, so I'm just hoping to get there. <laughs> Perfect. Awesome. Well, you got 10 shots to do it. I'm sure we'll figure it out. If anything's going to buck the wind the best today, it's probably going to be a 300 uh, wind map moving that quick. So looking forward to seeing it get done. All righty, sir. Uh, we're ready when you are. Of those three targets, which one do you want to go for? Uh, let's do the orange one in the center. Perfect. Ready when you are.
stuck. Yeah. I'll have to go get a cleaning rod. Redemption on that uh, half of my way. You got one shot left. One shot left. Come on, get those four points. What uh, do you want to go for? The white on the left or the orange to the right? Ah, uh, let's do that orange. Perfect. Ready when you are. Oh, close. All right, guys, it's me again, and I'm already gonna hit you with the excuses. I haven't even shot yet. I wasn't planning on shooting in this episode, actually. For episode six, I was gonna have a little special. I was actually gonna have six guests, and someone canceled late last night. So, stepping up to the table with a rifle I hardly know, all right? So bear with me. Nonetheless, it'll be fun. This is a pretty sweet rifle. Well, started here, actually. Pristine Actions sent me an action a while ago. So apologies to them for taking a while to get to it, but Pristine Actions, action. I bought an International's Barrels barrel. And interesting thing with this, this is 6.5 Creedmoor, but it's an 18-inch barrel. So a lot of factory guns always come with 20-plus-inch 6.5 Creedmoor barrels. Uh, I want to see what an 18-inch barrel is all about. So it's an 18-inch barrel, 6.5 Creedmoor, pristine action, got an OSS, uh, or now Huxworks, suppressor on there, Accuracy International, AIAX, short-action chassis, Atlas Bipod. I'm sure I'm forgetting something here. We got a little bag rider, wee bad, cheek rest, short-action precision, two-round holder, and now to the glass. This is a Vortex Razor HD Gen 2. It's a four and a half to 27 by 56 on a very fancy schmancy LaRue mount with this little diving board on top. Looks pretty trick. Uh, so there is that. We got a five round AI mag and I'm looking forward to see how it does. Up to this point, my experience with this is pretty limited. Like I said, I only ever sighted it in and shot a five round group. So let me know if you guys want a full video on this later. That was the plan. I wasn't gonna participate in this, but here I am. So based off the barrel length and everything, I'm guessing I'm gonna get about 2,500 feet per second. Puts me at about 9.9 .9 mils for a thousand yards. I'm shooting some Hornady 140 grain ELDM factory ammo, just that white and red box stuff. So. We'll see, confidence level, call out. The mag holds five, I'll load it up. And uh, if it goes beyond that, I'll start hand feeding it. And I just say, hopefully it doesn't come to that. So we'll see what happens, looking forward to it. All right, calling it out. I'm gonna go for the white one to the right.
Yep. Impact. All right. There you go. I like this gun. <laughs> Let's go for that orange one screaming at me here. Let's go for that orange half of them away. Yeah! All right. Wow. That's pretty good. That's I'm keeping the trigger. All right, and very brave, the first person, the guinea pig, to try the whole new series with the points based system and hit on the second to last, which is two points. We're also doing the coin system, so there's that bronze coin for you. Awesome, thank you, sir. Thank you, thank you. So how'd it go in, uh, by your take? It was good. I went in thinking I needed very minimal wind, and yeah. I ended up a whole mill on. Yeah, and okay, so a whole that, mill. That threw me off, because I was making, you know, even you see what happens out there, and you're still like, ah, I don't need much. Yeah. So I was adding, you know, one or point two every time, and I think that that messed me up. Yeah. Well, I mean, I'm not surprised you got the hit seeing the first initial shots. I think with that first one was just you got to get the most information out of that, but everything yeah. else was like within a tight vicinity. So not surprised you got the hit on there um, at all. But yeah, that wind was weird, but you figured it out real quick. So, all right, the first ever to go for the point system, two points on the board. In fact, we had a <laughs> lot of shooters do really well today. So yeah. But thanks for being a part of it. Thanks so much. Yeah. Thanks for awesome. having me. Appreciate it. All righty, sir. Well done. Remind me again, that was shot on 10. The 10. 10. So you just snuck in there, which is still <laughs> good for a coin, and that's a point there as well. So Thank there you, you go, man. Awesome. Again, being part of the guinea pig group of the now point system, uh, what's your take of it all? I like it. It's a it's pretty cool. neat setup. Awesome, man. I like, I like that clutch situation, man. I mean, the grouping was phenomenal, though. That's the thing. Did you see all the shots? Uh, the recoil, by the time I got back on them, I could see dust. And 308, no break. Yeah, sure. Uh, well, wait until you see the footage. It was a <laughs> tight group, considering really? wind and everything, man. I knew you were going to get the impact. It was a matter of time. So got it in there right, right in time, though, yes, man. Sir. So good deal. I really appreciate you coming out, man. So, no problem. Thanks so much. Yes, sir. All right, and if I'm not mistaken, the top score of today, you hit it on shot number three. Correct. Yes. Very, very nice, which the math would tell me that is eight points, which we're still doing the coins, so there's that silver coin for you. Do you have an AR-15, AR-10 uh, platform at home? I do. Right on. Well, you can get an iconic by a rise armament trigger thrown awesome. in there, so courtesy of them for giving something away to the high score. So there you go, sir. Walk us through, man, how, how to go um, with the conditions and the change-up you weren't expecting today with the new point system and everything, but everything yeah. went okay? Yeah, uh, I think you know, my first shot was just a little high, mm -hmm. and, and I think I, I knew I was right in there, so I think I got a little excited, and yeah, my trigger pull wasn't the best on the second shot. If I'm not mistaken, by far, I think the closest cold bore of the of the day. Yeah. I think you were just a tad high. It was just barely. I, I did one click. Yep, yeah. and you spent the remaining rounds on the half of my way, and I could be wrong here. I thought all but the last one. The last one was just low by maybe... I don't know, about one MO away, like about 10 inches. Mm -hmm. Everything else would have been another one MO impact. You were on the thing, dude. Yeah, it so it's a little frustrating, but what can you do, you know? So in short, cold bore, the closest by far, got a third round impact. All the other rounds were within a really tight vicinity on the half of my way, and uh, ultimately got a Savage 110 six arc bolt gun. So okay. everyone knows that could be done there. I mean, you were what again, 11 what mills? Uh, I, well, I think on the one and one way, I was at 11.5. Yeah, that's some drop with this wind too, man. So yeah. super efficient. It got done, man. Yeah, so she's a shooter. Absolutely. And well done behind the gun as well. So thanks so much for coming out, man. Really appreciate thanks it. Thanks for having me. All right, remind me again, which shot did you get an impact on? Six. Which is good for her five points, correct? Yeah. So we're still doing coins. Here is your bronze coin, sir, for getting shots between six and 10. How about that? Yeah, you could turn it into a yeah. And necklace, whatever you want. Yeah, beautiful. Awesome. But I'd love to see a 308 do it for sure. I'm guilty of using plenty of the six stuff, six five, and all that. So I tried to throw a challenge on myself last time with the five five six. Got a loss. Was really tough on me. Had to go to therapy. Had to. I mean, it was bad. So I had to come back here with the six five. How about just, I challenge you? Oh gosh. Yeah. The next me? time I'm coming with a six five, you shoot 308. Ah, oh, <laughs> of course you would say that. You know what? I haven't done a 308. <laughs> Episode seven, I have to hear from them though. If they want me to shoot a 308 on the next one, the comments say so, we'll do that. All Absolutely. right. Absolutely. Perfect. Uh, man, but great shooting, shot on six, fantastic, awesome setup. Uh, I was pretty confident it was gonna happen within those first shots. Grouping was fantastic as well, uh, given the conditions and everything. So, dude, thanks so much for coming out. Thank you Thank very you, much. Thank you for having me. All righty, sir, and remind me again, you got it done on, was it nine or uh, It was the 
Yeah, the ninth shot. Ninth yes. shot, awesome. That's right, because you got the jab yeah. at the five inch as well. Yes, sir. So that's good for a bronze coin, sir. So there you go. Thank you, sir. Awesome. So I had a little hiccup there for a moment. I think halfway through it had to bring the cleaner rod out. Clean yeah. The, the casing out of there. I, uh, I usually resize my full length, resize my brass every third round. Oh, okay. And uh, I think it's time for new brass. Oh, gotcha. <laughs> but hey, look, it got it done. Not a, not a single person uh, didn't get it done today, so that's pretty awesome. Yeah. So got it done. Bolts were definitely getting there just about as quick as anything else. Yeah. Quickest, I would say. So it's cool. The, by far and away, the uh, most visible vapor trail for my end. Yeah. Hopefully the camera would pick that up as well. But yeah. something about a 300 cartridge will really show that, that vapor oh, yeah. trail. But yeah, otherwise, uh, first uh, of the challenge kind of being changed up and everything, how'd it go for you? I, I enjoyed it. I, cool. I really did. Uh, thanks for having me of out. Of course. No, I thanks mean, for coming. The whole point of this challenge is more so than anything of show and tell. Yeah. I want to show some factory Ring 2700 as well as something that's hunkered down like this, a little yep. bit of everything, different cartridges as well. And so this is definitely a bit different than what we've seen as far as its task. Yeah. So seeing it get, uh, get the job done today was really, yeah. really cool. It's, so. uh, it's designed for F class, so Certainly. this is a little different role that... <laughs> Love it. Well, in any case, thanks so much for bringing it out, man. Yes, I really sir. appreciate it. I appreciate it. it. Thank I you, really sir. Do. Well, it looks like my per usual excuses were all for nothing. Um, yeah, really don't know this rifle all that well. So how much of that was uh, the rifle and how much was pure luck? Not too sure. The time the challenge changes to where you don't have to have consecutive 10 inch target to five inch target hits, I end up getting the consecutive hits. So that's really, really cool. Um, my strategy at this point, this challenge has taught me a lot actually beyond what I already knew, not that that was a whole lot anyway. The challenge taught me that I really only want to dial both wind and elevation. I don't care, judge me, it's cool. Uh, but I really only want to dial one time. I want to learn as much as possible from that first cold bore shot and dial one, maybe two times and hold from there. Thankfully the first dial was good. I think if I remember correctly, I was a bit high and to the left. Um, so too much on wind. I think I was the only one who initially missed left. I could be wrong. Whatever the case is, dialed once and I was going to commit to holding from there. Ended up getting a hit on the one MOA and didn't really know how precise that was until third shot was a hit on the half MOA. So absolutely thrilled. I am totally on my high horse right now, but even though a lot of it might be luck, less than 20 rounds through this rifle so far. So it's not even broken in or anything. So let me know. I was going to make a full independent video just on this platform. Uh, ended up being used today when I didn't plan on it. So let me know if you guys still want a full video on it, but I don't know how I top what I just did today. So kind of want to almost end it on that positive note. Uh, so yeah, episode six guys, there it is. Changed it completely. Uh, so let me know, I, I need your guys' input here. Do you guys like the old way or do you guys like the new point system where we can have rankings and give some stuff away as well? Let me know. In any case, thanks so much to Rise Armament for sponsoring this video and hooking up the winner of this competition with an iconic trigger. If you guys want one, I will be sure to put the links to their socials down below. Um, I don't think YouTube will let me put a direct link to purchase one. So another reason to go to the Texas Plinking newsletter, if they run a sale, I can let you know through there. And once again, a big thanks to Salinger Shop for sponsoring this video, Ark and Optics. We had a great representation from Ark and Optics as well. Two people showed up with them, two people got the challenge done. And so fantastic. Texas Plinking as a coupon code at checkout saves you the maximum currently being offered. So check it out. Thanks so much for watching guys. I'll see you guys next time. Should be, if I'm not mistaken, October 2nd. Stay tuned.